Thank you very much for joining us today. Today we're going to talk about the new 1099 NEC form and how to use that form in Acumatica Cloud ERP. Let's take a look at our agenda. So we're going to have a short agenda today. So the first thing is we're going to talk about what the 1099 NEC form is and how the data from the 1099 MISC or miscellaneous form gets moved to the 1099 NEC form. So the 1099 NEC form is new for calendar year 2020. And basically it's a separate form to record non-employee compensation. In the past, non-employee compensation has been recorded in box seven of the MISC form. Now this information will be recorded in box one of the 1099 NEC form. So now you'll have two forms. You can print the 1099 MISC form, which will not include the information that's in box seven. And then you can print the 1099 NEC form, which will print the information that's in box seven, but it will print it in box one on the form. What do you have to do to make sure this happens? Frankly, we'll talk about this a little bit later, all you have to do is be at a current enough version of Acumatica. There is no utility to run, nothing to install or anything like that. But let's take a look at how this works. So we're going to do a quick demonstration. During the demonstration, we'll take a look at setting up 1099 information for the vendor, viewing the vendor's 1099 information and printing the two forms. So here we are in Acumatica. So I'm going to go to payables. And we're going to start by looking at the vendor. So I'll go to the profiles and vendors, and let's just call this vendor up. So in this vendor, we've selected that this is a 1099 vendor, and we said their 1099 box is non-employee compensation, or box seven. Now notice that the description here also says at 1099 NEC box one starting in 2020. The way that Acumatica implemented this means you do not have to make any changes to your vendor setup for 1099. So if you set your vendors up a few years ago to record information into box seven of the MISC form, that will continue to happen. It'll just now be recorded in this box that is now labeled 1099 NEC box one, but there's no moving the data or anything like that. So let's take a look at our 1099 vendor history. So I'll select that vendor and I'll choose the 1099 year of 2020. And so as you can see here, again, the label of the field has changed and we have $2,500. And as you know, this is based on payments made to the vendor in the calendar year off of invoices that were set up to record 1099 information. So now that we know that there's $2,500 sitting here for the vendor, let's go ahead and look at our forms. So I'll print the 1099 MISC form first, and we'll choose the calendar year of 2020, and we'll run the report. And as you can see here, even though we have information in box seven, there's no information that prints on this form. And that's because the only information that we have is actually supposed to print on the 1099 NEC form. So let's print that. So once again, I'll choose the calendar year of 2020, run the report. And as you can see here, here's our vendor with our $2,500. So very simple. Any information that's in box seven that's been recorded in the past halfway through the year 2020 will just automatically print in box one on the NEC form. As I mentioned, there's nothing that you really have to do. Well, that's not exactly true. You do have to be at a current enough version of Acumatica to have this functionality. So what are those versions? Well, if you're on version 20, 18 R2, you must be at update 21 or higher. If you're on version 2019 R1, you must be on update 20 or higher. If you're on version 2019 R2, you must be on update 13 or higher. 
if you're on version 2020 R1, you must be on update nine or higher. If you're on version 2020 R2, all of the versions have this functionality. And as you can imagine, Acumatica is getting ready to release version 2021 R1 as well, and it will have this functionality as well. So now the question is, if you know that you need to be on one of these versions, how can you tell what version you are running? Let's take a look. So here I am back in Acumatica. I'm just gonna to go to tools and then about. And as you can see here, I'm running version 2020 R1, but which update? Well, if you look at the build number, it's in code, but it's an easily deciphered code. So build 20.1 means Acumatica version 2020 R1. So if this said 20.2, it'd be version 2020 R2. So 20.1 means 2020 R1. And then the, these two digits indicate what update. So after the dot one or whatever, those two digits tells me what update. So in this case, I'm on version 2020 R1 with update nine, which is the lowest possible update I could be on to have this functionality for Acumatica version 2020 R1. So if you're not on a current enough version, then you need to contact your reseller about getting a later update installed or upgrading to a later version of Acumatica. So as a recap, we took a look at printing the 1099 MISC and the 1099 NEC forms, which are automatically available based on the version of Acumatica that you're running. There's no utilities to run or anything like that. You just need to make sure you are on a late enough version of Acumatica. You can find us on LinkedIn. You can contact us at NIMS and Associates at ERP at NIMSAssociates.com or call the number on your screen. We do these snapshots frequently, so you can subscribe to the channel and get notifications when we've posted the new snapshot. And we do appreciate your feedback. Thank you very much for your time today.